Not like Charles Aphrodite Heston and Easter. And Venus. Uh, the self-styled love god was out in the town with a busty brunette when he spotted his old stage school crush, Elkie Hayward, Elkie Hayward. Elkie Hayward is the person that this uh, sex story is about. Brown was so desperate to get the freedom in personality uh, Elkie into bed that he dumped his stunning date on the spot and got his mates to escort the tearful girl from the pub. I don't remember that happening, but then it was a long time ago and I was on drugs at the time. That's the difficult thing about having spent a lot of your life on drugs. People can accuse you of things and you don't know where if you've done them or not. Mm. Oh no, that was just an announcement. People can just make a I remember every second <laughs> do it, yeah. of that drug hell. And let me tell you, nothing illegal took place except for the drugs themselves, which were bloody awful. Madcap TV host Brand, da 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 da, when he got his hand on Elkie's lovely 32 e Chiquitas, he turned out to be a big letdown. Honey Blonde Elkie, 33, who sings all the lyrics. Why are you keep gunning about her being, like, being in an Abba tribute band? Well, she's got another side to her. She's not just one of your, you know, your little lovers, is she? She's got a full, rounded dimension to her She's agreed to sell the story if they'll promote the fact that she's in an Abba exactly. tribute band. yeah. Obviously. Oh. Well, if you're interested in Abba tribute bands, what is, if you want to listen to Abba, listen to Abba. A lot of people are. A lot of, people are. Lot of money in Abba tributes. Right, I, I love it. It's got a bullet-pointed list of things. Made! Her go, Mamma Mia, when she saw his pasty white skinny body. <laughs> I've got a pasty white skinny body. I've got a nice little skinny yeah. body. And I'm not that skinny, as a matter of fact. Mm. There's been a lot of stories this week, well, three, of saying, like, saying, Telly Bean Pole brand, that I'm too skinny and I'm a bad role model. No. Telly Bean Pole? Telly Bean Pole. That sounds it like as if you've got nice that instead of an aerial. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a Telly Bean Pole. I mean, we had an aerial for a while, but it kept getting in my eyes. <laughs> telly Bean Pole made me go, right, uh, my body made her go Mamma Mia because it was all white skinny. And then another bullet point. This is, you know, when they in the papers they embolden a word to give it emphasis. I do, I do. Yeah, well, they've done it here. They've given it a bullet point and emboldened it for emphasis. Felt! That's not an aggressive word. Felt like sending out an SOS when he failed to satisfy her in bed. Left her screaming, gimme, 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 <laughs> and then open brackets, another man after midnight, close brackets, after his performance lasted barely a minute. Uh, barely a third of an ABBA song. But uh, you could listen to uh, the chorus probably in one verse. Yeah. A chorus of one verse, the sex would be down. This isn't true. Elk, uh, after barely a minute, he said he gave me a cocky striptease, revealing his <laughs> pasty white body. Right, the also the people phoned up, like they phoned me, they phoned me out and go, "Oh, you've got a story on you. It makes you look really good and that." Would you like to give a quote? And he read it. Says that I'm. Pasty and skinny and that, and I do sexy striptease. I would not have liked. Who some, would do a striptease? Not me. Are you sure? I wouldn't, because I'm. You know me. I don't like dancing and things like uh, that. Yeah, yeah. I he wouldn't go, do a striptease. He he'll pretend that, about some poetry or something. That's what he'd do. <laughs> pretend about some poetry. <laughs> you know there are poems in the world, don't you? Well, I wrote one of them. Anyway, about this sex we're having. Left it right, so he gave a cocky striptease. I and like I revealed my pasty white body that I don't have. I'm actually quite brown. You're swarthy, it's quite swarthy. brown. Swarthy, yeah. yeah. Broad-shouldered, yeah. trim. Yeah, yeah Svelte, right. Some would say. My name is. So I got. I, I built like a tailor's dummy. Built like a tailor's dummy, that boy. You remind say. me of Heathcliff. Thank you. Yeah. It's me. It's Kathy. I've come home now. It's very kind of you to say so. He was ever so attractive. Well, he was dusky, wasn't he? Some said dusky. he was the son of an Indian prince. Some say that today. Well, some did. I mean, some have been saying that. Well, she, did, she, le she left it deliberately obscure. You know, Liverpool Good. then was a major port, wasn't it? Well, it's, I'm glad that some people say that. Right, we should go. He revealed his pasty white body, right, and this is the people said this is a positive story. I suddenly thought, what am I doing? But it was too late to turn back. He got me naked and pounded on top of me oh. like a rabid dog, oh. looking at me like those crazed dogs. I didn't pound on top of her like a rabid dog. Do you dog. remember this event? I remember this girl, Elkie. Do you remember this event? Sexy. Was it a one off? She came back. This is when I lived in, I lived in Wilsden Green in London for a bit. It weren't a nice flat. I lived there with a couple of right nutters. They were people I went to drama school with, they were all right lads, really, but they were a bit balmy. We were, hey, we all were. It was crazy days. I took, her, I took her back home with me, this girl, and as I recall, it was just a relatively ordinary s sexual uh, performance. I don't, you know, I wouldn't say it wasn't one. The lucky girl. The pastiness, <laughs> the dancing. It was all there. The strip, the pastiness. <laughs> pastiness, <laughs> check, strip, <laughs> check. <laughs> Pounding like a rabbit dog, check. Right, well, it's got all the tenants. Crazy eyes, <laughs> check. Taxi Rolling home. Rolling around. Um, so, yeah, I mean, none of this weird <laughs> stuff happened. Crazy eyes. Our first romp, a romp. 
Our oh. first romp. Oh, we had a romp. I'm trying to romp with my... Will you keep the noise down? My wife and I are having a romp. I remember, and perhaps explain to a child the facts of life. Well, your mother and I romped. And then nine months later, you came out. Romp is not a very nice piece of language. Our first romp kind of lasted more than a minute, but I put it down to him being overexcited that he's probably got it with his school crush. It wasn't a school crush, it's just this girl. The singer with Abra Inferno. She thought it would meet him at Italia Conti, where I went when I was 16, after school age, where she thought he was just a skinny, lippy boy. Nearly a decade later, Brown was starting to make his name on the stand-up comedy circuit when, she, when he ran into Elkie in a London pub. She said he had this stunning Spanish girl with him. He looked familiar, but I couldn't place it. Then my friend said it was Russell Brand. Suddenly bounded up to our table. I'm always being accused of bounding, bounding. up to things. I don't Boogie. bound. Bounding, boogieing, I don't bound or boogie. He minces, doesn't he? If he does. any, I meander. He totters, actually. Me and Trevor yeah. were talking about... I do what, not totter. You do, mate, like, with those heels. Russell bought me a pair of shoes that are like his shoes with high heels. And, uh, someone told me, um, Kat told me... You like, totter! Girlfriend, ...that you have to walk on your... the weight on your front of your foot. When you're in high heels. But yeah. you don't. You have your weight in your heels and you totter about like a right dolly bird. And I do not totter like a dolly bird. And bird, Edinburgh's mate. cobbled street, so you've yeah. got to watch out for that. Okay. We, we saw you last night tittering off into the distance. You should have looked after me last night. Well, you, you shouldn't have you walked into a club up. without us coming in after I didn't stitch you up. I was behind you, people. I stopped having my photo the bouncer done said, stop, wait there. And then we had to wait there because we're normal people. Then you went in like a film star. Why didn't you come and help me? I was very nearly... Didn't let us in. Oh, someone touched me. <laughs> Did in they? an inexplicable way. I've got a weird text in the middle before. of the night saying, yes. You must protect me in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I got woken up and scrambled to my phone. Because you've gone out and abandoned all of us. We're meant to be friends. You I was walked tired. in past a security guard who didn't recognise That us. was it. You'd already abandoned me at that point. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. scrambling to get somewhere safe. We, we should have queued. Well, I was there, mate. It's a lovely evening. I was having ever such a nice time. It was pleasant. It was yeah, nice. Glad you enjoyed yourself. Well, thank you. Listen, I don't know what's wrong with you today. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we'll do this. We'll have some news. We have to have and news. And then we'll, we've got to have some news, haven't we? And yeah. then we'll, like, we'll... Come back on the app. We'll just sex this. I mean, they call it news. Weird! But... It's got a photo of me, age 19, where they've cropped out the nice bits of my hair. Weird. Russell, age 19. <laughs> <laughs> weird! He was simply weird. That's all there is to it. What's this thing you whispered? Oh, right, this is a really funny bit. We've just still been reading that article. Text us on 64046. Turn your phone off. Turn your phone off. Yeah, I will turn it off. Yeah, but look, we're reading this uh, expose thing. You can text us on 64046 or my own phone if you like. Text us on 64046 or email us at russell.sixmusic at bbc.co.uk. Uh, and what you can tell us about is either dinners, if you want, dinners or you've sex. Had. <clears throat> Don't say dinners you've, dinners you've had. Dinners that you've had. Not imaginary dinners, dinners, not dinners fantasy that you've dared to have. Yeah. Dinners you saw through a window, it's dinners you've had. Yeah. Like in a cartoon That'll be or next something. Week's topic. Pie cooling on a shelf. A pie on a shelf. Pies are never left to cool on a windowsill <laughs> like in the dandy, are they? I've looked at over nine windowsills in my life and only 7% of those had pies on. And yes, I did take that pie and I did run off and eat it with a sort of a neckerchief thing and it did have cow's horns coming out of it. Do it again. I do it again, you will have a chance. So this uh, expose on me in the people by this bird, Elkie Haywood, time has not been kind, um, as says, uh, <laughs> oh, get her. Oh, blimey, oh, look at you, dear. She says, I've got skinny white, and so let's, uh, I've got a match, something as cruel as skinny, pasty white body. But she's talking about don't, you in the past. Don't, don't, turn the other cheek, Russ. Turn the other cheek, like Jesus. Well. Turn the other pale, skinny little cheeks. <laughs> I can't keep turning my skinny little cheeks, one of the bloody <laughs> things will fall off. <laughs> then pull your trousers up. Isn't this ridiculous bit of thing, right? Um, like, she goes to her, oh, then I, I went to her and goes, Hey, are you Elkie Haywood from Italia Conti? As if, as if I'd say that. Hey, you Ronnie Wood. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you Elkie Haywood from Italia Conti? When I said yes, he stared at me intensely and revealed he used to have a massive crush on me. Then Elkie watched in amazement as Brand went back to his date, whispered something which made her cry, and then <laughs> signalled to his mates to take her out. I'm not a gangster. I don't... Bro, Take, yeah, that's odd. Go up to her, whisper something to her and make her cry. You will never be happy. You will <laughs> die alone. <laughs> whisper as I was there and then signal to my mates to take her out. Not got like, you know, then, that's like ten years ago. Even now I don't have anyone like that could exact that. I'm not a part of she the mafia. Could. Of course you could. Could I? I wouldn't do anything. With you, having a dinner with you, for example, and yeah. you suddenly whisper and go, I'm bored of this dinner with you, I want to have dinner with her. Yeah. That, that would make someone cry, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, but... <clears throat> I would never done that. 
I'm a nice I man. would never done that. I would never done that now as our soul's album. Get it right. Guess what though, once during the thing, this is a terrible thing, the girl I was with went to the, the to the toilet and went to the toilet. Back. No, I nicked her purse while she was in the lavvy. What was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? Did you what? And then That's funny. Then she, when she drugs. came back you'd gone. No, I stayed for the rest of the day, you know, for with a her bit purse. Of and then when then then she went, Oh, where's my purse? And you went, I don't know. So now it's terrible, isn't it, life? But I will seek it out. I'll get this purse back for you. I will not rest till this purse has been reclaimed. Did you, did you find it? Did you play the hero and give it give it her back? No, just I found it. it, but all the money and cards have gone, but here it is. Here's the purse anyway. If it's got any sentimental value, you could have it, I suppose. Actually I also spent the I mean the villain spent any sentimental value that it could have had. The next anyway, back to this thing. She goes, all right, goes back, went to my mates to take out this girl that I've just whispered in the ear off. Elkie said, it was cruel, but I was enjoying his attention. Why should I cry? <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit cruel, but I thought, hey, hey, Elkie, do you want me to kick this deer to death for you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I just left a long-term relationship, so I thought, what the hell? He spent the next, next few hours plying me with beer and compliments, and I couldn't resist going back to his flat. Beer and compliments? You don't flow beer around. I, well, I did, this is ten years ago. I, I know, but you it. never used to drink beer, did you? Well, I'd drink vodka straight from the bottle, things like that. That's, that was more my scene, man. I remember that in your little iron bag. <laughs> a little, little bottle of vodka that you used to make sure everyone saw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh that old edge. thing. <laughs> it's 9am, but uh, I've drank almost half that. <laughs> I feel a bit sick, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Someone take me home. Um, right, so I plied her with beer and took her back to my flat. I didn't do that. He took me straight to his bedroom and opened the door. There was a pile of crumpled, dirty clothes in one corner and a double mattress on the floor. It screamed out, Shag Pat! <laughs> screamed out poverty! <laughs> I would scream out, Shag Welcome to the Shag Pad! Well, if, if it's dirty clothes or double mattresses, we've got something to cater for you! <laughs> Christ! Shag Pad. Shag Pad. Who dog's wants that bed. screamed out? It does scream dog's bed. <laughs> We sat on the edge of the mattress. I see the word like it's a canyon. <laughs> we sat on the edge of the mattress and surveyed the spectacular views available from there. The views of the pile of clothes <laughs> and the UB40. We sat on the edge of the mattress. He gently kissed and fondled me. He was so obsessed with my big breasts, he couldn't look at my face. <laughs> That's not the only reason. No, bloody have you seen it? The face is in the paper. We sat on the edge of the da, da, da. No, she's, not, she's actually quite a nice girl. I'm only saying Yeah, 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 no, no cool, yeah. Fine, Fred, hey, yeah. we're all friends here. Why are you talking about Cliff Richard, man? <laughs> I don't know. She's a really nice girl, so... Uh... Uh, she's a really nice girl, she's fun. Hey, if you're ever bored of Wimbledon, yeah, it starts raining. I'll entertain you, poor sods. Come on. <laughs> hey, Peggy Sue. <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> He, I don't know, he mentions things like that. Then he stood up and started to do this cocky strip tease, better than doing a strippy cocktail. Hey, he's had this bit. Look, he's mentioned twice. He said he wanted us naked as soon as possible. He was so flamboyant, but once he had his clothes off, I couldn't get his pasty white skinny body out of my mind. I didn't put it in her <laughs> mind. There was nothing to him anywhere. Nothing to him anywhere, suggesting there's something wrong with my lovely dinkle. After undressing me, he eased me onto the bed, manoeuvred me in this slightly awkward sideways position, and started panting and romping on top of me. It was weird. She remembers this well for nine years ago. Why has it suddenly come out now? What sort of... She's money in it now. She just got out of hospital or something. <laughs> the coma's only just subsided, Matt. <laughs> it took her a while to get over it. It was weird. It was over nearly as soon as it came, but I took it as a compliment. He was so pleased to have been with me after fancying me those years earlier. Next morning, Russell romped with her again in the same odd pose. I guess it was his favourite position. I don't know why. Mm. I was actually quite scared looking at those eyes of his. Why say things like that? There's no wrong with my eyes. How's she looking in your eyes if you're in this weird position? Way. This is all lies. I've not got eyes all around the head, like a tiara. Afterwards, Russell insisted on holding her hand as he walked her to the tube. Oh, oh it sounds like I'm quite a nice a lad. Boy. Walked her to the tube, everything. And made her promise to meet for a second date. He seemed besotted, like a puppy. You know oh. how puppies are besotted with things? Oh, yeah. Look at this puppy. It's obsessed with Renaissance art. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed besotted. I'm loud and mad, and so is he. And although he wasn't boyfriend material, I agreed on a second date. We met in a pub after a few beers. I'd realised I'd missed my last train home, so I gave him a chance to redeem himself. Got to his bedroom, and all was going well. Then he launched into his rapid dog act again. <laughs> Got a rapid dog act. This story goes on forever. It's ridiculous. Nothing's happening in it. Da 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 da. Absolute lot of. Lo and lot. it actually doesn't have. You know, it doesn't. It's not clear that she's the wronged party. Well, she's not. She's just showing off. She's just weird. She Silly. said, that, "Oh, he wanted no to hold my to, hand." There's no point to it. It doesn't. There's no point. To it's not clear. Give me some money, because once I did it with him. 
I was a nice lad. I was just trying my hardest, and I, I can't. I don't know if I was as good at sex then as I am now, but I know I would have tried my hardest. 